Hello everyone, welcome to Ultra's Plays, a new series on Strafe. This is a game by Devolver Digital, the same people who you might have heard of, who did Enter the Gungeon, which is a really cool game, and I should check out that on some other streamers slash YouTubers if you're interested, which you will be, because it's kind of a bit like Isaac. It's very much Isaac-like, but that's not this. This is this. This is called Strafe. It's a retro 3D game, and um, honestly, I'm going to shut up a little bit, because in the tutorial, there are some really cool cutscenes, video cutscenes as well, uh, pretty funny. It's one of those tongue-in-cheek games, so let's give this a watch, and if there's stuff to look at, I'm going to shut up. Hello, and congratulations. You've obtained the lucrative job of scout for the Class 9-6 spacecraft Icarus. They're depending on you to locate safe areas full of valuable materials to scrap. It's a rewarding but physically demanding job. So let's begin with a quick health assessment before you begin your training. Start by turning your head side to side and up and down. We need to confirm you can move your head. The, um, <laughs> the sensitivity on this is extreme. Thanks. I have to change that. I'm seeing good numbers here. Now if you could please increase your heart rate. Hold on a minute. Uh... Controls. This is ludicrous. Right, let's put it here. Uh, here. Controller layout. Oh, uh, not enough. Come on. Options. Controls. Come around here. I always put these on the same, but I honestly don't know. Uh, that's weird, but okay. Yeah, that seems fine. There's no <laughs> shift. Does nothing. <laughs> nice. I'm running. I'm running. All the weirdness, going. by the way, it's Let's not on you. This is by jumping in place. actually designed to um, look like an old VHS. The, the, wow, uh, we've shush. never seen results this impressive before. You're more than ready to travel to the edge of the galaxy. Yes, I did say edge. The core system is already oversaturated with scrappers, and we know you'll enjoy an adventure. Here are three quick facts about this core sector. Number one. Humanity knows nothing about this sector. Number two, it's a historic opportunity, as no scrappers have returned alive from here before. And number three, you'll be fine. You and the team will be beyond contact range, so please, take a moment to say your farewells to family and friends. Okay, let's get scrapping. Let's get At scrapping. Icarus, we pride ourselves on collecting and recycling discarded materials and space waste. As a scrapper, you need to recognize scrap as something much more valuable than average trash. There's a way above average is trash. Tell you. Benches allow you to turn scrap into goods. On Icarus, ours are calibrated to supply staff with armor and ammunition. Craft armor. Oh, I've yawned. Apologies. E is used. There you go. Good to know. How much do I have? It's that in the bottom right, look. It's a recycling number. I can't point at it. I have no cursor for you. We also allow you to make extra income by finding scrap off the job and selling it to the scrap lord. <laughs> You've earned your 10% cut. Hooray. There's more to scrapping than finding scrap and scrapping it. But let's move on to other actions expected of you. Sometimes large objects can obstruct your workflow. We found the best solution is to pick the item up and throw it in any direction out of your work zone. Press left mouse. Whoa, we have got a good toss. Icarus is a massive, multi-level spacecraft, but lifts make getting around manageable. Press use on mechanical walls to activate lifts, but be careful of ceilings and ledges. Your scrapper's comp does not cover time off for lift-related crushings and cripplings. I had a dream right, about a lift, and it stopped such that the own, you had to lie down. Is this actually the second time I've had this dream? Yeah, kind of like we that. We do, it however, offer free health care for scrapping-related <laughs> injuries. Our lunches are packed with the best drugs available in the galaxy, so you stay healthy and smart and never question your life choices. Food. This is healing me Finally, be careful when handling metal crates aboard Icarus. They're pressurized to keep I expensive weapon components Seriously. safe during shipment. Try being not careful. Just this one time. Excuse me while I dismiss this nonsense. Shut up and go away, okay? Why is Windows such a pain? Oh, these? Yes. 
Nice. Apologies for not doing really this. What just happened? Because the operating system that this insists on running on is not suitable for even slightest. Of course, oh, grubble, grubble. these are just the basic Burr. requirements to perform your duty. But we can tell that you're a self-starter who prefers a hands-on approach to learning. Not someone who wants to waste company hours with expensive training modules. We love that spirit. So experiment often and stay safe out there. This has such a, a portal style um, uh, sarcasm to it. It's very interesting. Uh, it looks like it's actually a bit cleaner now than it was before. So all that, all of the VHS type um, uh, effects just now were because of railgun. So please, more than one. Yes. How do I change weapon? Controls. <laughs> Control. Next weapon. Scroll up. Previous weapon. Scroll down. It, it is, but it won't let me change. Let me change weapon. No. Whoa, it's fast though. And there's no um, the numbers aren't changing my weapon either. By the way, I am pressing them. Interesting. Nothing in there. Reload. Reload works. Okie dokie. This looks so retro and cool. What? Okie dokie. Already kind of gross. What did I think of? I don't know. I cannot change that. Oh, it's just going to shoot things that are running at me with wrenches. Hope that is not against company policy. So you get to pick which weapon you start with, but if you find weapons along the way, then you can uh, keep hold of them. I'm, I'm trying to make head nor tail. Uh, I'm trying to make head nor tail? I'm trying to make head or tail out of the um, interface, but actually things are just coming right at me. It's too much for me. So, uh, right. So, I, I understand. Right. Can I open this? Can I shoot this? Shoot it, but there's nothing in it. Uh... I was hoping to find scrap, but this is fine too. HP. Oh, more ammo. Or what? I don't know. This? High rad levels. Let's not go in there. This is an interesting thing, isn't it? Can jump, but not that high. There's a spider on the wall behind my computer, and I hate spiders, and it's scary. <laughs> oh, hi. I ran out. You can throw them at them. If they're out, <laughs> it breaks the gun, but hurts the enemy. Brilliant. I've got plenty of shotgun then. Boom. 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 This is... This is very doomy. Oh. Carry that for free. Run. Yikes, what is that? What are these creatures? Why are you attacking me? Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's happening? You be gone. Good, good. good. Where's my health? Damn it. Uh, I think the first thing I picked up in all of this was, in fact, ammunition. Okay, you seem to have no way of just not firing at me. Stop. You stop. What is happening? This is already intense. One of the options on the... Uh, menu was make strafe worse. I'm wondering if that was simply uh, a way of making it easier. But what are these things that are happening? That one attacked the enemy and not me. I don't understand. I'm low on HP. Not low necessarily. But uh, not ideally high. Give me a couple more HPs. Alright, alright, alright. Has everything stopped going wrong just yet? Have we got any scrap? We have got 2,000 scrap. Well, 3,000 nearly. So we can probably use that fabricator. Have you stopped attacking me? Probably use that fabricator to make some armor. <sighs> Not a fan of this. Uh, no, we can't. We can make ammo, though. Can we make ammo for. We haven't got the other weapon because we threw it at the baddie and broke it. Fair enough, fair enough. 
What did I get? Something. I don't know. Come on. There's gotta be more secrets. I don't know if this game contains things like secret rooms and stuff. Oh. This is not as clean as the introduction, is the... Ooh. What is this? Is this my railgun? Doesn't... Oh, we do have uh, names of weapons up here. Though. I've only just noticed that there's a list of weapons. Ah, scrap. <coughs> Ideal. 30-50. Not enough scrap to make armour, but... Mm, guess we keep going. What is this? Plus... Dead? What? I'm more skeleton. I. Ha 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 Boom. It's just shotgun these jokers. Just try not to die. If you can manage it, if that's alright. Can you manage that? Don't do dead yet. Oh, silly. Don't do what I did, because it results in one's. Untimely demise, as a result of the fact that it is throwing an exploding barrel in your own face. I don't really think I'm into that. For a map? Yes. Can we use the map? Not ideal. Oh, what? Oh, that's weird. <laughs> because, <coughs> excuse me, you look down into the um, corner of your helmet, but your position in the world remains pointing in the same direction, so... Oh. So confusing. I... have no idea what I'm doing, so I'm just going to keep going and hope for the best. Open. Opening! Hello? Baddies? Level 1-1. One, one. Secrets, 0%. I mean, we could go back and see if we can find more percent of the secrets. Also, did it tell me how much of the scrap I found? Uh, 3,900. It told me how much I found, but not how much of it I found. I'm trying to run or go faster or something, but honestly, I don't think I need to. Uh, I don't know how secrets work in this game either, so... I mean, I could just have to use walls that look suspicious. I could have to swim under the water here. Um, I could have to... Sh right, those remain out here. Don't stand on the green. Kind of common in video games. You think I'd understand that a little bit better by now? We did play all the way through Quake without actually dying um, <coughs> permanently. So there's that. <coughs> Ow. Um. That's a lot of green right there. No wonder it hurt. I was kind of hoping to see more of. Wait, where did I come into this place? Was it here? I don't know. <laughs> I was hoping to find some obvious secret or something or other like that that would help me out here, but it's not making itself known. All right, fine. Let's just go. Maybe the next time we play this level, we will have... Um, not all gluttons are created equal. The ones in the medical garb are faster, and the ones with armor on have extra protection. So they're called gluttons. We are loading the next level. Is that where we were or where we're going? I don't know. I'm in. I see, I see. I like how they've connected these levels together. It's not very retro at all. But at the same time... Grim. Um... Ooh. Oh, you can get two at once. Though. Uh, what was I saying? I've got one shot left for this one. Apparently I need more than one because it won't let me use it. Which is weird. Why don't you just like make ammo ammo? <laughs> That's gruesome. I love it. That's explodey. Keep away from that, it explodes. Don't ask that baddie explodes. Ow, baddie explodes. That homed in on me. Uh, and it was... What? Very upset. Let me out of here. This is a scary place and I don't like it. What bad guys? Get out of it. You lost your head, which makes me perfectly happy. I don't mind it if you want to just go and straight up have a headshot sort of thing. What are we doing here? What have you got? I'm so confused. 
What did you do? Did you upgrade it? You did. Now it's got a punch thing on it. Upgrade accuracy? Oh, hello. Oh, that's a railgun. Well, what's this then? Tell me the names of the weapons. <laughs> There's no information about what you've picked up. Which is both amazing and also terrible. There may be information sort of elsewhere. I see, you're just doing that. Kind of expecting to throw this at some baddies. Yes, hit the wall, thank you. I'm so confused. Am I shooting that? Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Don't mind shooting something if it was the correct thing to do. Um, now we have a machine gun. Is this the machine gun? There's not enough ammo for me to sort of be willing to test it out. Well, now there's two things on this. And you've still not told me what they are. Open sesame? I've got 20 health and 50 uh, shots. So I now have officially more health than sense. Yikes! No, 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 no. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Ah, motherland! Nope. <laughs> oh, this game is harder than I expected. I've just been running in gung ho. Your life was sacrificed in the darkness of a deep space by a carrier, but at least it was over in 9 minutes and 24 seconds. You killed 50 of those ones along the way. Let's go the floor alone. Uh, continue. I, I, I don't. Is this one of those ones where you just. Does this like. Um, it's not easy. Oh, that is easy. I see. What's this? One DOS version. It. Wait. Go away. Oh, just escape. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, more. Do it again. Right. Right, 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 right. So let's start with the railgun. Give me the railgun. Get in here. This has uh, changed my expectations completely now that I have literally started again. Right, we now have 100 health and 100 armor. It looks the same. Is it just a matter of keep trying until you can get through it? So the railgun is on... It doesn't tell me. I get another weapon. Yeah, it's, it's procedurally generated. You've seen this. I love it. I did not know this. I just sort of assumed that this was a standard game. Um, I say a standard game. <laughs> what is a standard game? It's 2019. Um, I meant like a, just a play it through once quake sort of game, but no, the fact that this is this is another roguelike, this is another Dead Cells. We are going to end up talking about absolute nonsense playing this game in the future, I tell you that for free. Plus, oh, ammo, brilliant. Can I tell what's in a box? Hang on, my knee has gone. Oh, let's stretch it out. Um, can I tell what's in a box by the colour of it? Let's explain what happened with my knee. I don't know if this happens to anybody else, actually. Um, I'd be very grateful if this happens to other people and not just me. Oh, we've fallen through the... Excuse me? Is that supposed to happen? Yes. But... In the weirdest way. This is clearly intentional. I love it. Um... It's freaking me right out. But it's clearly... I have to assume it's intentional. Because now I'm back where I was. What sort of secret is that? This game is ludicrous. This is amazing. It's outrageous. This is absolutely stupendous. I love it. Did you see that secret? Were you watching that? If you, if you didn't see that, if you've only been listening... Go back to when I went, whoops, I've fallen through the world, right? The number four is, one is the railgun, four is whatever the heck this is. Um, I've only got ten shots for it, so I'm not going to use it yet. Go back to where I said I've fallen through the world. If you're just in uh, listening mode for now, stop doing your work. Whatever the hell you're doing, it's not worth doing compared to the secret that I just found in this game. What is going on? <laughs> I'm so perplexed. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm also kind of lost in this level. Um, I don't know how I found it. And I don't know if I can go back there. Because I just sort of fell through the world, right? Um, 
So that makes, makes me wonder how how do you know it's there? How do you find it again? Can you go back to it? I didn't finish it, obviously. I just sort of went wandering around. Um, and I ended up walking back onto the real spaceship. And I went, oh, now what? I, I fell through the world here. And it's closed up. So it looked like a glitch, which was amazing. I love the fact that the secret is it, it looks like a glitch in the world, but is in fact, you know, perfectly above board and natural. Um, was, I, I don't know where I'm going. Go over here somewhere. Hello? I'm not quite sure what that bar that fills up when I eat food is. Um, because it doesn't really necessarily seem to. Well, I haven't filled it up yet, <laughs> basically. Um, I've got full health, got 100 health anyway. Mind you, I've got 100 health and three of the health bits are red. So, uh, I'm not sure what that means either. Oh! Nice, nice. I do like railguns. You don't talk to people who I knew back in the day when I used to play Quake 3 at LAN parties. And ask them what it was like when I was playing Quake 3 with a railgun. Uh, and they will say, don't let him have a railgun. It's not funny. I don't know what that is. I don't know what it's shooting, but I love it. Um, mind you, there's, there's very much of a difference between playing games like Quake 3 with your mates in the LAN party and playing Quake 3 with actual randomers on the actual internet. Um, I was playing Quake Champions a while ago with um, with Pete from work. On, I think I was on, on here. Might have been on the UNI channel. So. You all know that I used to have another channel, right? I used to run it with some people. It's not dead. It's just on hiatus. Extreme hiatus. Because the whole point of it is to play with more than one person. And we ain't playing with more than one person. Just right now. Uh, anyway. We're playing Quake Champions. Not very good, in my humble opinion. An extremely humble and very correct opinion. I see you. Nice. I'm not ready for level 2. I'm actually not ready for level 2. Let's get more out of this. I love how procedural this is. I love how replayable this is. Uh, and, and the fact that it's not sort of... There we go. Uh, it's not designed to be beaten, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. I, I, I mean, I suppose it is, but you just play it again anyway. Like Dead Cells. I wonder how long the runs are when you get good enough at it to get through the entire game. So that'd be interesting to me. Uh, what was I saying? Quake Champions is not very good. I... Mm. First of all, I'm bad at it. <laughs> Hello? What did I win? He didn't even tell me! It was just a noise! Magnetic something something. I've got a magnet on my left hand side and that's all I can tell you right now. That's all that's happened. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, magnetizes scrap. That's a picture of scrap underneath that magnet. C A C I C. Okay, just a random sort of foolish owl. Okie dokie. Uh, yeah, I don't like quite. I was playing um, <clears throat> Epic. Epic, Epic, Epic. Unreal. The new Unreal tournament, which is in Alpha and is kind of staying in Alpha until forever, as far as I can tell, because no one cares about it, unfortunately, because the Unreal series is probably one of the best series of games I have played. Um, but I always, always find that Unreal. Where, where the hell was that exit? <laughs> um, and family are worlds ahead in terms of quality and, and entertainment value than the Quake series. And that's because they just treat you a little bit more grown up y. You know? What, what, what? Like that. That is directly out of Unreal. Did you see that? This is not the railgun, this is a shock rifle. Loving it. More of this, please. Uh, let me out of this damned level. Don't walk into the stuff because you can't see where you're going. Oh, it's right here. Mm, nice one, mate. Open sesame. Brilliant. I think we found a secret based on the fact that it was amazing. 
It wasn't even a secret. It was just part of the game. I don't know if there were any secrets. Oh my god. There's so much of this game. I don't know what's happening. The last piece required to fix the teleporter is a battery. We're we playing freaking... Oh, hello. What? What? Are we playing Commander Keen or what? Where are we going? Is that a save point? What's happening? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, yes. Right, okay. You can finish, the, you can come back later at the end of each level. I understand. This is like 3D Enter the Gungeon. Straight up. Straight up. Thirsty. I don't have any. Right, so this is level two. We have a full map. Uh, we have enough of it. We, we can see the immediate environment. You had a helmet on, which defeated my attempt to shoot you. That makes me sad. That makes me very sad. He shot his helmet off and he stayed alive. What a bastard. Right, is this it? No. Okay. Yikes! Anyway, I'm bad at these games online. I usually prefer to play the um, the long distance snipey type player, but you know, these games have to be balanced around. What? Something bit me. I don't know what it was. And also, what am I firing? And also, what's hurting me? I'm gonna have to buy some ammo at some point, aren't I? My mouse glitched. Didn't like it. Good, good, good. Great. Uh, how do I pick ammo to buy it? Two, three, four. What does that do? I don't know. I want more? Ooh! Something happened to me. What does this do? This is the thing that makes your gun better. So I put my gun in there, so now I'm on fisty mode. I don't know why I can't just select fisty mode anyway. Which is why I thought I was just playing punch out with this thingy, but nope. uh, now we've got a, a punchy gun. Remember that you have the shock rifle dual shot mode thingy. Oh, you did die. I was going to say, why did you not die? Oh, uh, you've changed. What? Nice. Here you go. Here you go. Nope. Oh. I don't know if I like... I don't know if I like you anymore. I don't know who you are, Gun. Uh, when we first met, you were a, a shock rifle combo. Now you're a link gun combo. I, I'm not really... I guess that's the thing I don't... I, uh... Does anybody want to play UT99? <laughs> I'll be well up for that if you're into it. Because the changes that they made to Unreal Tournament since UT99 are just... They're not great. Um, I didn't like the style of Unreal Tournament. It was 2003. Was that the first of the of the new ones? Ow. Um, I think we're doing a bit better this time. Actually. But um, yay! Where did you come from? Where did you come from? Kill it! Kill it! Whew. Our weapons don't have anything in them. That's the problem. Also, it'd be grand if these had some idea of uh, how full they were. And we, oh, you're doing the monster closet thing. I understand. So if you hit the enemy with your thingy, it breaks, or it has a chance to break, or something. I don't know what the. Uh, we're picking up ammo. I don't know for which weapons. Is it for which... It can't be for whichever weapon you're holding. Because I was holding a weapon and it didn't fill up the ammo. So I guess we're supposed to learn what weapon we're being given ammo for. A little tiny little flipping... Dudes from... Little... Despicable me dudes. 
mini me, but the hey, what's the guy's name? It gives me Gru. Gru? Is it Gru? That doesn't sound right at all. Give me food. No food. Um, it also sounds perfectly right, which is why uh, my brain went to it. I guess. Anyway, these tiny little grooves suck. Are we reloaded everything? But I don't know if it has a chance to break or if it's guaranteed to break. <laughs> ah! That hurts. A lot. I haven't found... Have I found a thing that will... So my scrap... Oh, when those pieces of scrap fly towards me, it freaks me the heck out. Because of the magnet. I'm not expecting it. I can see it. Let me in. Why won't you let me in? This is how games work. You give me a secret thingy, and I shoot it, and then you let me in. Why is that scary noise happening? Is it just the, the pattern? It looks like... um. Has a tape, to be honest with you. I, I got nothing. Go anywhere else over here? I don't like the hazards on the ground. <laughs> uh, it's gross looking out. Let me rotate this somehow. I don't know. <laughs> this game is hard not just because there's so much to not get shot by, but... Yeah, like that. But... I don't know where to go. <laughs> it's very, very mazy and losing me. Oh, that's open now. I wasn't open before. No burning. Might as well wait for the... Uh... Oh! Grenade by reloading. Can I have some grenades, please? Get out of the way. Leave me alone. Pretty sure we haven't found a scrap user, a recycler on this particular floor yet. Wouldn't surprise me if I just blanked it though. Yeah, so I guess like the first thing that really struck me when UT 2003 came out. Oh, I see. You just make a whole bunch of scrap, but also a whole bunch of goo when you get exploded. Um, was the changes they made to the rocket launcher. Um, I thought it was inspired to have a rocket launcher that both um, fired grenades and also rockets. And then I think it fired six grenades. The original in UT was called the 8-Ball. Um, but it only fired six rockets at once if you charged it up. Which you could do. Which was like the best thing about it was you could literally charge this thing up. Get this out of here so I don't get exploded by something. Uh, excuse me, that one. And then uh, ammo for this. What is this? Recycled gun. Revert railgun to its original firing mode. Use benches and craft armor and ammo from... Oh, use benches to craft armor and ammo. Uh, what is this? Might as well just use my scrap as much as I can, right? So you are... This is my railgun, so... Um, what am I... Is this just more ammo? Am I only getting railgun ammo because I chose to do a railgun run? And if I happen to... I really don't know. Hey! Interesting. So this is the thing that was glitched out before. And presumably on purpose. Yeah, I am shooting at you. See, I see, I see. I don't know what I'm finding here. What does this give me? I don't know. What did I just pick up? What's happening? Oh, credits, of course. Uh, I have 75 credits, so I can do this, right? 
and I've got 100 credits again. So, our blast, uh, rain wear, or what is this? Sorted ammunition? Again, I have no idea how to refill the guns that I've that aren't the railgun. Let's just go. We've already managed to beat level two, which is brand new stuff to me. Open. I don't know what this second time is. The chance to find a single teleporter piece during each run. Right, so it's persistent. We have to keep going through it to find things. Okay. Enter the cryo chamber so you're... That's what that was. Let's jump in this one instead. I'm going to keep playing this until we run out, just to see how much time we have. I'm going to see what Jen wants. Adventure. Adventure. Time. I don't know. She just said adventure. Uh, continue. I don't know if uh, I want to try and figure it out for myself. Not really, I'm going to say. What? What happened there? There we go. Why was that so difficult? What are you doing? Do. What is that? When you reload... That must be the upgrade that I bought, right? The one that I didn't understand? It seems like when you reload... Excuse me. Um, you get the opportunity to throw this thing. You have to throw. Right. You've got... The previous round is explosive. That's outrageous. Give me this armor right now. Because <laughs> I am in a bad way. On account of how the world is going to end. Right, that was 3,500. Jump over this crap. There we go. Ammo of some description. What? Uh, rockets. No, thank you. <laughs> so when you un ouch, unclip a clip. Oh, what? I didn't know that. Oh, it's chasing me. We'll do better next time. Uh, progress. What did I win? Dollar, dollar, dollar. You unlocked a coin. Progress. This is this reminds me of Downwell, actually. Your weak skills failed you just 18 minutes then seven years poison. Acid claimed your life inside a Chris avenging 96 dead friends and the 239 gallons of their blood juice. What is happening? <laughs> what is happening? I don't get this game. I get this game, but I do not get this game. Thank you for watching. I'm going to just keep playing this and uh, start a new episode immediately, but that's about half an hour. I don't know how long these ends runs could end up being, but we're only a umpteenth of the way through the Icarus right now. So I guess we're just going to keep playing and see what happens. So thank you for watching this. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I hope that you will be joining me for the next one. And until the next one, thanks for watching and I'll see you.